And welcome everyone to the Petro Sun Independence Bowl from Independence Stadium here, Alabama taking on Colorado. It's the third meeting all time between these two teams and the Alabama Crimson Tide playing in this game for the second time in as many seasons. Well, Mark, there's seven six and six teams playing in bowl games this year. And I promise you, in each one of those games, there's a huge difference between winning and losing because just end with a winning season. Alabama winning the toss, deferring, actually receiving here. And that's Javier Arenas back after a leg injury in their last game against Auburn. He's a big part of what they do in special teams. First down and 10 for the Crimson Tide. Glenn Coffey in a tailback. Here's Coffey trying the right side. Finds a nice seam. Got about seven in the Spurs. Robert Ori of Bama grad breaks down the Crimson Tide offense presented by Yellowfoot. Robert, we agree. 340 pretty much is defining unmovable. Big piece up front. Parker Wilson completes that pass. That's Coffey coming out of the backfield and picks up the first first down of the game. Former great backcourt starter for the Colorado Buffaloes back in the day, Chauncey Billups. This is Coffey again. Same play, Bob, as that first one. And another good result for the Crimson Tide. Got a good block on the edge from the receiver. Nikita Stover to pick up 11 yards. McCall in motion. And John Parker Wilson pulls the trigger complete once again to his tight end, Nick Walker. Third down and about five to go. Into traffic. And it's incomplete at the 20-yard line. Stover couldn't hang on to it. How about his dad? An All-American kicker at Bama, so there's some good genes marked in that family. Well, Van was an All-American kicker for Ray Perkins back in the day. This one coming from about 41 yards out. And Tiffin will give Alabama the first points of the ball game. They lead three to nothing. Mark, that Nebraska win was huge because the Buffaloes had lost four of five before beating Nebraska in Boulder. First down and ten for the Buffaloes. Hawkins with a play fake. And he's picked off. Number 25, Rolando McLean with the first turnover of the ball game on the first offensive play for Alabama. Right, closer to 35 <laughs> right now with 10 minutes to go here in the first period. Alabama trying to be opportunistic after the turnover. John Parker Wilson complete to Coffey, who's about two yards short of the first down. This field goal much shorter. This one from 24 yards out. And he knocks it through to make it six to nothing for Alabama. Mark, that really is a win for the Colorado defense. Well, they empty out the formation. Sprague in motion. That's that little uh, pop play they like to run. That's going to be a first down. Dusty Sprague. And we talked about Alabama struggling on third down, Mark. Colorado, number 100 in the NCAA in third down conversion. Hawkins completes the pass that time to his tight end, Tyson DeVray. But he's two yards short of the first down. Not much success. All losing <laughs> records. The top four that went for it on fourth down. But they're going to fake it here, Bob. And they run the end around play. And they get down to the 44 yard line. And it's short of the first down. Byron Ellis took the carry, but Alabama was waiting on it. Roy Upchurch is in a tailback now for Alabama. He's the second of the three guys that we could potentially see tonight. John Parker Wilson completes this pass for first down, and that's Upchurch out of the backfield, who picks up a first down for Alabama. Upchurch, Coffee, Terry Grant, the freshman, is the guy next in line. Grew up in the apartments on campus. Glenn Coffey back in the ball game for the Crimson Tide in the backfield. John Parker Wilson going to keep it himself. And Wilson has a little bit of mobility. All the way inside the 20 down to the 17-yard line. First down, Alabama. Wilson out of the shotgun gets a little bit of heat. Touchdown! Keith Brown. Last but not least, roll to our roll. Hey, you got to listen to a dude that's got seven championship rings. Colorado mishandling the play once again. Hawkins is down at the 30-yard line. Things imploding for the Buffaloes here early in the ball game. I think it's important Alabama gets D.J. Hall in this game here. There's Upchurch on the sweep, and he got a nice gain of about seven yards. And, yeah, you talked about it. D.J. Hall is the home run hitter. 
Stover in motion. They run it to Upchurch. Stays on his feet and picked up the first down into Colorado territory at the 49-yard line. UL Monroe and Charlie Weatherby came into Tuscaloosa and beat Alabama. It's hard to live that one down. Approaching two minutes to go here in the first quarter. It has been all Crimson Tide, and D.J. Hall gets his first touch of the ball game. It's completed the 34-yard line. Ironically, D.J. Hall almost chose LSU. First down and 10 once again for the Crimson Tide. Wilson going up top. Has a man. What a grab by Stover. Cardell got it too. Matt Cadell with another big catch. Working from their own 36-yard line. Hawkins under some heat, dumps it off complete. And it's Sprague, and he's upended about three yards short of the first down. He got five on the play, and that brings up a fourth down, sitting up at his own 27. A lot of pressure, and it might have been partially blocked. It was. Cadell with another big play, this time on special teams for Alabama. It rolls forward down to the 35-yard line, but there's number 11, Cadell once again. John Parker Wilson. Like the reincarnation of Joe Namath in that first quarter. On the reverse, it's Cadell. They give it to him again, and why not? He has had the Midas touch in this ballgame so far for Alabama. Being able to take advantage of turnovers. On the receiver screen, Cadell again has another first down, and then some all the way down to the 36-yard line of Colorado. We're building in Alabama a little different story than doing the same at Colorado. Third down and six for Wilson. He fires complete over the middle. And this is going to be a score. Touchdown. Stover is head over heels. It was unfortunate the way it worked out. But I know he and his family are happy to be back in college football. This is Hugh Charles on a nice run. And Charles with the first down for Colorado. Out near midfield at the 50-yard line. Hugh Charles, the 5'8 senior, one of 15 seniors playing their final game for the Buffaloes. Third down and five coming up for Colorado. The pass complete. And there's the speed of that Alabama defense. Good closing speed by Lionel Mitchell, the backup corner. And that touchdown to interception ratio wasn't all that great, but he's up to his numbers in this game. They lead 27 to nothing. And he has been on point that time to D.J. Hall for a first down at the 45-yard line. So I mentioned before, a lot of people thought it was just an easy transition for him to come to Tuscaloosa and win national championships. Fires another completion down to the 44-yard line to the tight end, Nick Walker. Three-receiver formation. Wilson, and he's picked off. Ryan Walters with the interception for the Buffaloes. And into Alabama territory at the 43-yard line. That's Wilson's 12th interception that he's thrown so far this year. See if they can do anything off of this turnover. Sprague in motion. The give is to Hugh Charles, who is going nowhere. Met immediately at the 45-yard line. Aaron Ellis now in the backfield beside Hawkins to his right. Hawkins with time and finds his receiver at the 20-yard line. It's complete to Scotty McKnight. They picked up 25 on the last play. I think the next step for this Colorado program, Mark, they need some dynamic wide receivers. Oh, here's the most dynamic guy right here. It's number nine, Josh Smith, and Smith makes it just a yard short of the first down. Hawkins into the end zone. Touchdown, it's caught by DeBray. Tyson DeVray finally puts the Buffaloes on the scoreboard. That one interception that led to the touchdown. This time, plays it safe, hands it off to Coffey. Coffey with a first down. Gives them a little more breathing room out to the 35-yard line. Interesting to see if they let John Parker Wilson mark throw this football down the field right here. Not on this play. They hand it off to Coffey, who got drilled back at the 32-yard line. Well, there ought to be a way to at least finish the season with the team you started the season with, right? They brought a little bit of heat that time. Oh. And it's mishandled. Loose. Out of bounds. Mark. Chase it, McBride it, couldn't get a handle on it. It hit him on the helmet. Yeah. The quarterback, Cody Hawkins, on first down and 10. 
No timeouts remaining for the Buffaloes. The pass is complete short of the first down at the 46 to Tyson DeVray, who has the only touchdown of the game for the Buffaloes so far. That time he got it to the quarterback, Hawkins. Fires complete. Oh, man, DeVray hung on to it in heavy, deep traffic. Clock running with 14 seconds to go. Right here. Very easily could be the last play of the half right here for Colorado. They go into the end zone on it. They're close to it. It's a catch. Touchdown. Wow. Dusty Sprague with a touchdown catch. Working against Kareem Jackson. What an ending to the half for Colorado. You know, just barely getting that play off with enough time left in the first half. The turn comes all the way out to the 42-yard line. The Buffaloes with 14 points in the last 544 of the half. And they go into the locker room trailing now with a little bit more of the quote-unquote hawk love that they mystically talk about on campus in Boulder. Available in phenomenal high definition on ESPN HD presented by Pioneer Cooler. Third down coming up for the Buffaloes. Hawkins under some heat. Got it off and it's complete at the 39-yard line. I mean, the head coach and the quarterback in major college football are lightning rods. They're both in that same family. Hawkins completes it to Smith. And Smith with a first down at the 43-yard line into Alabama territory. Was able to bounce back, missed the first two games of the season, but now a, an important part of what they like to do offensively. Sumler in the tailback, a little play fake. Hawkins... It's going to be complete. DeVray, who had a touchdown catch in the first half, makes the catch there to pick up 13. And this, Bob, this offense for the Buffalo is starting to get a little bit of rhythm to it. Ryan Lockridge in the tailback on second and ten, a near miss. Well, that's a lot of moving parts, a lot of variables, none of them going anywhere as Rolando McLean made the stop. That freshman has been on a lot of play. Ellis in the backfield, third and long. They've converted on the previous one. Tipped up and almost intercepted by McLean. Well, he only has one hand. Yeah. <laughs> and he pulls this one to the left. And so far, Alabama's had it. At least they did in the first half. We'll see what they have here in the second half. Then Coffey alone back. Pass to Nick Walker. And Walker has the first down. Still on his feet. He's got about six guys mauling him there. In a blink, it's third and eight for Alabama. Here. Wilson. Incomplete. Intended for Cadell. And it's time to punt for the Crimson Tide. Colorado's improved remarkably, Mark, in four or five special teams areas this year. Much improved. Oh, Fitzgerald a got a hit. The ball bounces by McBride and Marquez Herrick. Wow. Looked like he ran into the punter, Fitzgerald. Yeah, I think it's going to be running into five-yard penalty right here. At least I hope that's the call. I think there's a coach out in Hawaii in the Pacific Rim area that might like Mondoli and Cooper. Yeah, I'll agree with you on that. And Hawkins, the coach's son at quarterback with the completion to Joe Sanders at tight end. And they convert for the first down. They pick up 13. No question, Mark. And he, as I mentioned, he is a resilient guy now. Hand it off and nothing happening. That's the second consecutive time that that play was blown up, this time by Wallace Gilbert. You think they've got to protect him here on third and 15 passing situation. Hawkins completes it for the first down. Right at the 35-yard line. First down and 10. Hawkins with some backside pressure closing. Dangerously close to being picked off. Boy, Rolando McClain is ubiquitous. He is all over the field tonight. That helps him. He was a tight end in high school. Maybe that's why he's so good. Here's, oh, boy. Hugh Charles on the loose for the Buffaloes. And into Alabama territory is Hugh Charles. 
<laughs> Maybe that's a good omen. Yeah. I mean, thinking ahead. Yeah, they weren't on the schedule this year, but next year they're on it. That's a coach's son, right? Always yeah. thinking about the future. He got scrambled a little bit. On the run, this is Robinson, and Stefan Robinson with a nice gain. Speed running in the family. 11th play of the drive for Colorado here. The handoff is to Ellis, and he's dragged down from behind by Wallace Gilbury, his fourth tackle for loss in this ball game. And this guy had five field goals down in Waco against Baylor, one of them a 52 yarder, so he has plenty yeah. of distance. He's hit some big ones this year, game winners against Colorado State as well as against Oklahoma. This one from 39, missed earlier, <laughs> and doinks this one off the left upright, and it's good from 39. See DJ Hall there ready to get this kickoff for Alabama. It's been a relatively quiet night for him. This is Arenas. Javier Arenas, oh, he put it on spin cycle. Nice move. And he makes it out to the 40-yard line. Let's check in with Stacy downstairs. The guy is a tackling machine now from the state of Hawaii. He started as a true freshman, number 44, Jordan Dyson. Wilson completes it over the middle. And it's fumbled, comes loose. Still live, it's Colorado football. Brown, Chappelle Brown recovers the loose ball. He had it ripped loose, but it's out of bounds. It'll be Buffalo football with under two minutes to go. Well, this has looked like two entirely different games on the reverse. And Josh Smith, maybe the fastest player on that team, couldn't get to the edge. Hawkins got a little backside pressure, stepped up, makes the play, and a first down for the Buffaloes in Alabama's 30-yard line. The catch made by Brian Lockridge. Out of the shotgun, Hawkins fakes it. And he's going to be sacked back at the 38. Cody Hawkins maybe made the wise play that time and took the sack. See if he can pin Alabama. Low snap. Buffalo's downfield to cover this. This takes an Alabama bounce, though. Some special seasonal lights for this time of the year. 13-22 to go in the fourth quarter. Wilson fires it complete. Both those guys did tremendous jobs for their programs, but because they leave, a lot of animosity from the fans. Coffee on the run. This is a young football team, and he's a heck of a coach, and they're going to get back to the standards that Alabama fans expect. Third and one coming up. Coffee looks like he was stopped up short of the first down, depending on the spot. But when you're the head coach at Alabama, you have those hour-long press conferences. Right. Sometimes you can say too much now. Second and ten, a little pressure coming to pass complete to D.J. Hall. And D.J. is spinning his magic on that play. Boy, give John Parker Wilson credit, Mark. Mark here, they're blitzing him, too. They come after Wilson, backside pressure, and they get to him back at the 48-yard line. Ryan Walters with the blitz and the sack for the Buffaloes. Well, it's been fun to watch him develop, Mark. We had him earlier against Kansas State. He's come a long way. And you can see just how important. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked off on the tip. A great play by Darren Mustin in the 22-yard line. Wilson, they fumble the exchange. And all the way back at the 33-yard line is where Stover recovers it. Upchurch the lone back. A three receiver formation for Alabama. And they give it to Roy Upchurch over the left side of that offensive line. In behind Andre Smith, big number 71. And Upchurch makes it down to the 23-yard line. The Buffaloes came with a blitz last time on third down. Wilson delivers a strike complete. First down just inside the 12-yard line to the guy that's been making clutch plays on not only offense but special teams tonight, Cadell. But uh, Brandon Nicholas, a great football game inside. On third and goal now for the tie. Wilson, and he throws this one away. They call it 26. And you can just call it good. Uh, there were a lot of people. There were a couple other administrative guys that were farther <laughs> out there, almost to the hash mark. But the stepson got all the heat. <laughs> Hawkins pulls the trigger complete. DeVray has been a huge part of their offense tonight, and he got hit. 
when he made the catch. Eight catches tonight for DeVray, a total of 81 yards, including the touchdown. Hawkins going up top on this one, has a man, and it's caught by Patrick Williams. Hey, 4-10 to go, plenty of time for the Buffaloes. Mark Jones along with Bob Davies, Stacey Dales down in the field. 4-4 to go. Cody Hawkins trying to bring his team back. Is that picked off? Waiting for a call. And it's going to be ruled incomplete. But boy, Rashad Johnson shows you why he led this team with six interceptions. That was tops in the conference, too. Hawkins. Complete and touchdown. DeVray again, his second touchdown catch of the night. Sometimes you see some of the most heavily penalized teams are some of the more successful teams exactly. in football. Wilson fires complete to D.J. Hall. Hall stays in bounds. Alabama trying to hang on to the football. Run out some clock. And a first down by Roy Upchurch. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, well, I was going to say run the draw, but I was wrong. Wilson, he's going to take off himself. And he got the first down. It's going to be marked way on the other side of midfield, and that might be the ball game. They need to go ahead and run the football, even though Colorado is out of timeouts right here. First down and 10. A busted play, and Wilson is going to fall down for a loss of about one. Alabama with one punt block this season. A high snap. Fitzgerald is going to watch this one bounce. Is he going to be down? Oh, it travels into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20-yard line with all of one second to go. here comes your famous <laughs> lateral exhibition. I promise you, Nick Saban right now, his stomach is still in knots. Looking for a Cal Stanford-type miracle here. Oh, come on, Hawk. That's about as basic. Is, there it is. Oh, he got it off in time. There's there one, too. Was that four? Forward. They throw it back. It's still alive. Look out. That's it. And that is the end. The very end. He gave us a little something, though, yeah. didn't he? Yep. Yeah. Pass down the middle. <laughs> then the lateral. And the Alabama Crimson Tide improved to 7-6 and six with the win. And Shreveport looks a lot better at Alabama <laughs> this year, Mark, <laughs> than it did a year ago when they lost, It'll right? It'll be a much more pleasant five-hour drive down Interstate 20 for Nick Saban's followers.